Hi everyone, my name is Jen and I'm part of the global One for 50 movement. We desire to equip people just like you to reach, disciple, and equip and empower the next generation. Oftentimes, when we teach the Bible to our children, it's easy to see the Bible through a small, me-sized lens. We look for how the story applies to us. But what if we taught the Bible through a God-sized lens? When we teach the Bible through a God-sized lens, it broadens our children's perspective of who the God of the Bible is and who we are in light of his purposes. Teaching the Bible through a God-sized lens doesn't have to be difficult. It only requires that we frame each story around three main concepts. God is the main character of every story. He's always at work to make himself known. And he blesses people for a purpose greater than themselves. Oftentimes that blessing spills over to other people. So today, we're going to look at a Bible story that we can teach our children through a God-sized lens. So let's look at the Great Commission. So grab your family and a Bible, and let's look up some passages. You can find the Great Commission in a couple different places in the New Testament. Matthew 28, 18 through 20, Mark 16, 15, Luke 24, 45 through 47, John 20, 21, and in Acts 1, 8. If some of your children are really strong readers, you can invite them to read the passages with you. And as your family reads these passages together, you may find a pattern. The Great Commission wasn't something that Jesus just said once, right before he ascended into heaven. It wasn't a new concept. But Jesus had been reflecting God's heart for the nations throughout his entire ministry. So now we're gonna add a fun activity. Oftentimes, adding sounds or motions to a Bible story can help our children pay attention and remember the main point. So today in our story, we're gonna add a clapping pattern. So come up with a simple clapping pattern and teach it to your family so that all of them remember it. Now invite one person to repeat the clapping pattern. Then invite a second family member to join them, then a third, and then invite everyone to join the pattern. Explain to your family that though different people helped out with the pattern every time, the pattern didn't change. The only thing that did change is every time with repetition, the pattern got louder. Explain that sometimes parents and teachers repeat things because they're important and we need to remember them. And in the same way, Jesus repeated the Great Commission because it's important and it's something that we should remember. The Bible's repetition of the Great Commission reflects God's heart for all nations. We can see a God-sized lens of the Bible through this story. In John 20, 21, we see that as God sends Jesus, so Jesus is sending us. God promises that as we go out into the world to make disciples of all nations and ethnic groups, that he will be with us. Though we're commanded to make disciples of all people groups, today, one third of ethnic groups still haven't heard the gospel of Jesus. So as you read this story and do this activity with your family, Pray together that God would help you see his story through a God-sized lens. And pray that he would show your family specifically how you can be part of his great commission. For more ideas of how you can teach the Bible through a God-sized lens and for other free resources, visit weavefamily.org. You can also find more information on how to disciple and empower children at oneforfifty today.net. Thanks.